Here's today what we're going to do. The first thing, uh, like always, you put your name. Uh, this time you're going to put it on the back. So I'm going to write Milligan right here real quick in pencil. And you are going to do some painted paper. And you're going to see why we're making some painted paper. But I'm going to show you real quick. You're going to take a Miss Paula, one of these cups. You're going to make sure that you very carefully take the lid off. And it's going to be filled with tempera. Okay? Then you're going to have a mat underneath. And you're going to go and you're just dipping the tip. Remember, Miss Paula only likes her hair dipped in the tip. Okay? And you see how I'm just very quickly putting a good amount of paint on and kind of brushing back and forth. And you're going to see why. I'm trying to fill all the spaces in. You uh, might have a cup of your own. I'll see how many I have. If not, you'll be sharing with your shoulder buddy. And you're filling the whole thing in back and forth because you want to do this quickly because then we're going to take a texture tool and we're going to give it some texture. So I'm filling in the whole thing and it's still wet and I'm working my way from the top to the bottom. Also when I paint artist I typically do left to right. Watch your fingers. See how I'm slowly, I'm still holding on to my paper but I'm watching my fingers and going all the way to the edge. That's why we've got the mat there. And then finish off. Then you're going to clean this up, which we know how to clean our brushes. I'm going to set this aside for the video. Then you're going to take this little tool like this. I'm going to cut these so they have an edge. So you're going to take your finger and hold on to the edge of it. See how I'm going back and forth. And if you need to, you know, if you can't do it quick enough, you might need to add a little bit of paint. Then I'm going back and forth, and it's going to give it a texture look. This is going to be the loom part of your weaving. So I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to show another video of how to make what's going to go inside of it. This is very important. When you're done painting, artists, see how mine curled up? You're going to leave it on this mat and put it on the drying rack. Remember, we go from the bottoms up, fill it from the bottom up. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to take your brown paper. And this is just so we don't have a mess. We're not going to use the mats. And we're going to use oil pastels. You've used them before. And you're going to make snakes. And you're going to need probably about five, let's say six, just in case. You can use different colors. See how this orange one's too small? So I would want you to put that back because you want it long enough to where it'll be able to fit through the weaving. And you're going to see what I'm talking about later. This is when you come in with your oil pastel and you draw on a snake creating like a pattern and texture you can do whatever you want on your snake and you can come back in and do little dots and this is what you're going to be weaving with these will be the strips that will go inside and then I've got two little eyes here Set that aside. That's one snake. I want to show you how you're going to make this a little different. You're going to just take and round this side and round that side. Or you can make it be, there you can see it against there, or you can make it really point, pointy. <laughs> and on the tail, you can do the same thing. You don't want to get it too skinny though because you still want to be able to weave this through. Okay, and then these little pieces will go in the recycling bin because they have oil pastel on them. Um, this brown paper I will use again and again. So then I would create another one. Now what you want to think of is see how this, oh it did show up. I didn't think the green would show up very well. But it did okay. When you're choosing your colors you want to make, you want to think about if there's a contrast and you'll be able to see it. But see how the eyes don't stand out very well. So I'm going to take and do some black and then I will be back to show you what we're going to do with the snakes.
See how I got my fingers a little dirty? You're probably going to have to wipe your hands with paper towel or wash them before you start weaving. What you're doing now, artist, is you're just trying to make a zigzag. See how my line is on the bottom? On the back. So I'm making a zigzag. And this is going to become your grass. What you want is you want to have a sky, but you don't, you basically you want uh, two thirds, meaning this is a third, that's a third, that's a third. So when you glue it on your background paper, in a moment, okay, you're going to have it just like that. Now when I turn it over, there's that line. What you're going to do, is you're going to turn it over on the back so you see that line. And where that line is, you are not going to go any further, but see where the point is, the middle of that zig? I'm going to cut it as straight as I can, artist, and I stop. Go all the way to that line, as straight as I can, and then I stop all the way to that line and what do I do artist you're right I stop and we're not drawing the lines we're just trying our best to have it as straight as we can now I made six snakes that might be too many we'll see now what you're gonna do you turn it over and there's your grass this is what we're gonna weave on you're gonna take mr. glue Pick as boogers if you need to. You have your blue paper background. What you're gonna do now is you're going to put a frame of glue in that little rectangle that's at the bottom. So if you look what I've got here, artist, there's my frame of glue. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna set it down close to the edge that I can and I'm going to massage that down really good, okay? Massage. Now I've already talked to you about the history of weaving. I've talked to you about patterns, A, B, A, B, over, under. I've showed you the poster uh, you all weaved last year. Now here's my little snakes. I have to say I probably like the uh, white one the best because it had the contrast. And then I'm going to hopefully that's going to be down really well. Okay. Rub your fingers across it. I like the way the texture of the grass turned out. And then, and I found this project online, so that's where I got this idea. And I thought, oh, this looks super cool. Oh, now we've got the snake hanging. See, I did over under. I started with him under the grass, over the grass, under the grass, over the grass, under the grass. Now what I want you to do is take your next snake, and they're going to be going opposite. So see how the heads are facing the different way? Now his head is on top. You want to think about this snake being sneaky, and he's going to hide behind that piece of grass. And then you're going to do, see how I can lift these little strips? Be very careful. You don't want to rip them. Now, if I had two where he's still on top of two pieces of grass, is that a pattern? No. So I'm going to scoot it back just a little bit, lift up the grass, and then I'm going to squish it down. They like to be snug as a bug in a rug. There we go, or a snake in the grass. And you're gonna fill this whole thing up and then I'll pause the video and show you the next step after this.